I took my family from living their luxury lives in the city to now living on a farm in the middle of nowhere with a $5 million debt. Can we succeed? Can we make a living? And can we not go to jail? Let's find out together. P.S. Links down below for gportal.com. Thanks, gportal. No more Come loans. on. I just want a tip. Just give me 10. I can pay it back. No, 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 no. I promise. All right, boss. What y'all been up to while I've been gone? Well, remember when those shanks broke? Yeah. Come look. Ooh, that looks all nice. Oh, it's even painted. Oh, pretty. Yep. How much I got it all painted. Uh, it didn't cost it anything. I took care of it myself. And also, big surprise, the cornfield is plowed and ready for lime. That is perfect right there. Ashley, you want to go with me to town and buy a corn planter? We got money for that? We got 12 grand. All right. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go to town for that. And Blake, come here, Blakey boy. Yeah. You see those Where's bags? Lime, you see all them lime? You see those bags of lime? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and start fertilizing? By the way, I'm just letting you know, you'll get about uh 10 feet in and then run out of lime. So Good luck. All right, let's go before he yells at me. Uh, go get the tractor. Go get the case I H. Okay. Hey, Chris, you on radio? I am. How far back are you? Up a little ways. Uh, I got, I'm almost to the fork in the road. All right, that sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and see what planters they got and buy it. All right, I should be there to pick it up. Hopefully, by the time you got it in your hands. All right, ten four. All righty, let's go ahead and hook her up. All right, I'll plug them in. I think that did it. So now we can go ahead and take this on down. I'm going to let you take that. Back it up over here. We'll load it up the seat already. All right, you going to rip one of those bags open? Yep. Yeah, um, all right, let's go ahead and start pouring them in. I think she's full. Yep, just got the last cap on it. I'll fold it back up. Let's take it on down to the place. I'm thinking another one of my cousins is supposed to be joining us here soon. His nickname is Trucker Massey. I think he said he wants to join us. Oh, okay. So they told me the one thing we need to look at with it is these closing wheels right here. They said we might need to look at it and make sure there's enough space in between them they said other than that it should be pretty completely ready to go yeah i think these are all good yeah do you see any issues nope not any i see all right so she all should right. be good to go you can go ahead and take her back there and start planting i'm gonna try to feed the sheep up real fast and after i feed the sheep i'm gonna head over there and switch with you okay actually we want to harvest then i'm gonna come back there all right the sheep are fed hey brother wanna... blake yeah what's up you want to head to town for me no nope. well i need somebody to go pick up some pilot okay i'll do it i know you just love doing that job oh uh, yeah I love it. I'm going to leave both pilots right here at the entrance. Thank you so much. Hey, Before, bro. Yeah. Yes? When are you plan on repairing that harvester? Well, I was trying to prioritize things if uh, we only have one field to harvest right now, though, right? I thought the plan was before the potatoes were ready and the wheat was ready, I had to have that done by. We might want to know what the dealership would give us for it. If they'd give us a good price for it, say like 20 grand since it's now running and driving, we might want to take it, go ahead and sell it off, and possibly look into buying some new equipment bigger equipment for certain things oh holy moly either i just hit the jackpot or i'm guessing blake you sold the thing yep i sold it all right blake let me call the dealership up and get them to place the order for the fertilizer all right i'll go pick it up why do we never get the black truck out of the water uh because i'm mad at you uh, you do know that the pollute that that's technically pollution and we can get a fine for that right mm, it's not my property but it is your truck and i can say you're the one who put it there should probably get it out of there then oh how is Bry doing? I haven't seen him. Uh, he's laying down inside the house right now. Oh, I might go check on him in a little bit just to say hi. I almost want to say, why don't we eventually hold an, an auction, eventually sell off a lot of this older equipment and buy some newer, bigger equipment with it. I love that idea. All right, she's all hooked up. She's ready to go. I'm going to go take this up? over and plow. Because I was making sure I didn't break it. You don't have to fold it up to be able to Hey, I was it. just being extra careful. I don't like breaking your stuff. Hey, Nate, mm -hmm. you want me to put potatoes in this field you just harvested? Yes, sir. All right. I am on it. All right, boys, I'm getting to the end of this right here. I've got eight, well, 7% left. I'll probably about 6%. And I guarantee I'm going to run out before I get the end. Boys, I got 1% and I got 10 feet left. You can do it. Fuck, it's going to be by the hair of my chin. There's no way. There's you no can do way. It. There's no it. way. Five liters. Five That's efficiency there. Liters. Hey, y'all on the, anybody on the radio? No, go away. We don't like you. Okay, I guess they don't want to know the price for the harvester. 
What's the price? He said he'll offer up uh, anywhere between 10 and 12. Okay. Guys, and how much is it? would it cost to fix it? The harvester? Yeah. Oh, I could get it done for about maybe 1300 If we put $1,300 worth of work into it. Then we sold it then. I probably put it about 15 grand worth. So that's worth it, ain't it? Y yes, absolutely. And wh what are we getting in replacement, though? I mean, we don't need another harvester. We technically have a really good size harvester. How are we pulling these potatoes out? We're, we're going to wait for silage before we pull potatoes. Hey, uh, what's it called? Y'all got any sprayers over there? Uh, Yeah, we got two other ones that just came in. We got one more on it. Uh, that's, we got to go pick up. Okay. What's those uh, wingspans on those? Uh, 12 and 18. How much y'all want for the 18? According to what I got told, 12. 12 grand? Okay. Chris, do you think we just do a fair trade-in for the harvester for that? I mean, it saves me time. I got a lot of other things to do. So we would lose two grand by not waiting for me to fix it. Uh, you remember that John Deere sprayer I have? Uh, yeah. How much would y'all give us for that sprayer? What was the original price we paid for that? I don't know my boss's mind really to it, so. All right, ask him how much he'd give us for it and then get back with me. <laughs> I wonder how much they'd give us for your truck. My truck in the water? Yeah. Oh, how much they better give us a that? lot. I'm not very comfortable saying. Well, I'm just trying to figure out how much we can get back out of it. It wasn't cheap, and I, I didn't want to get rid of it. I paid my own money on that thing. You're going to need a brand new engine on that one, bud. Yeah. He just said go ahead and bring all the, uh, the equipment, and y'all can discuss it while y'all are here. Well, let me sell some things real fast first, and then I'll be over there. Alrighty. All right, I'm selling a little wheat now. That gave us that much. I'm going to sell the beans next and see if we can get at least get about three more grand. That would uh, that would be ideal, yeah. Three more grand would help a lot. All right, and let's sell this. Oh, buddy. Whoa. Oh, uh, boy. That was a good harvest. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All righty. So they are going to come pick up this sprayer here in a second, which looks like good old Chris just got done with work. Yeah, it's all done. Perfect. I'm going to park this over here, and then me and you got to go and buy another sprayer. Alrighty, I'm here to buy that $12,000 $12, sprayer. Um, okay. Do you want to look at it first? Yeah, I want to take a look at it first, but I'm coming to buy her, so. Oh, it's this one right here. Oh, perfect. Just out of curiosity, how much is this right here? Uh, it's 15. Okay. All right, I'll buy that eventually. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this. All right, so I have my name here, you said? Yep, and if anything happens to this, uh, we are not reliable now. It is yours. Oh, good. You're going to tell me that. Well, just know if something happens to us, something might happen to that red truck of yours. My truck, it wasn't as much as uh, our cousin's was. All I'm saying is be careful. You going fishing over there? I'm trying, yeah. <laughs> trying to go fishing for that truck? You need some help there, bud? Yeah, I would love some help. Okay, thank you. We're all, all right. hooked up? Yep, pull her. There, there you go. Is. She's coming right out now. All right, thanks for unpolluting the water. Yeah, I didn't want us to get fined. All right, I'm going to spray that field that you just planted, okay, cousin? Absolutely. I'm going to watch. I want to see this. I'm heading over. Go. Oh, my. That thing is huge. Oh, look how fast you're going to get that done. That was money well spent. Oh, definitely. All right, boys. It's done. No right. way. What a good investment. Well, boys, I think we're done for the day. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Several months later. I got my morning jogging. Let's wake these little boys up. All right, boys, wake up. Rise and shine. What? We huh? don't get December off? No, no, you don't. It's time to work. Anybody know where my medicine's at? You don't need it. You'll be fine. He just got ran over by a truck. Uh, he's fine. He will be fine, okay? I'm happy our cousin's actually worried about me. I'm worried about you. Not that much, though. So. Let's get to work. Fine. We got work to do. Here, take Boys. one of these. They're the, ex they're the extra strong ones I found in your dad's uh, cabinet. Now, is Thank it blue? You. Is it blue? I wouldn't give that to him. I beg your pardon? I guess it's time to start selling silage again. Yay. I mean, it's boring, but it uh, it, it pays, pays so bills. good. Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess while I'm doing this, Chris, do you want to start planting? What am I planting? Corn. <gasps> no way. It's corn planting day. Actually, it's corn planting day for that. And then, Blake, you're going to be on mowing day. So, Bryce, me and you. You get to drive an excavator, and I get to drive a pickup. Let's have fun. All right, bro. Go ahead and get in the wheel loader. Come on, bro. You're being slow. Well... The arm on this thing's sucking. Like, it's not really m moving. All right, have mercy. All right, just be fast with it. Please tell me our cousin actually made sure the arm works fully on it. Hey, you cut it out over there. We've already done a whole thing of silage with that, and it worked perfect. I was about to say, that's just that's just the operator at that point, bud. We're in a full, bro. I'm going to go ahead and take this. All right. 
All right, so we're gonna continue dumping this out. We've already made a two grand. Hopefully we'll make about six, eight grand from this. We've made eight grand from that. So ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate y'all so very much for watching today's episode. We'll see you next time. Peace.